this video, I'm going to show you how to add a booking form to your Beaver Builder pages. So to get started, here is my mock-up website. This is for a growth and content marketing freelancer and their call to action is a free consultation. So if we click on this link, we're taken to the contact slash hire me page. And as you can see here, I have this giant white box and this is where I want to add in my appointment booking form. So to get started, let's head over to the WordPress dashboard and let me introduce you to the Simply Schedule Appointments plugin. So if you head over to the plugins page, select add new, we're gonna search up the word simply. And again, this is a free WordPress booking plugin. It will come with everything you need to book appointments and a few other features, including send confirmations, use blackout dates, uh, style it to match your site. So let's go ahead and activate it. And once activated, you'll see that it is now added to your plugins list. So simply schedule appointments is listed here. And if you look on the left-hand side of the WordPress dashboard, you'll see that the appointments tab is now added to the very bottom. To get started, let's go ahead and click on that appointments tab and this should initiate the setup wizard. So here you'll see that it is asking whether you want to receive help on getting started or if you got this, if you've used this before, you can go ahead and skip. But um, just for this tutorial's sake, let's go ahead and get started with the setup wizard. All right, so first thing, it's going to ask you a few different questions, specifically about just like general information, like is this your time zone? Is this your preferred date and time format? And are you okay with this contact information? If there's anything you want to change, go ahead and click needs some adjusting button. And if this all looks good, you can go ahead and say, looks good, let's go. Alrighty, so next step is to set up our very first appointment type. And an appointment type is just a booking calendar and it's going to include all the rules that you want to apply to the specific calendar. We're gonna start off with our basics and this is going to include the name of the calendar. For example, here it is consultation phone call. In this case, this does match my website. I do want to create a free consultation calendar. So I'm going to leave that as is. The duration is 30 minutes but you can always change the units of the duration to hours, days, weeks. I'm gonna leave it at 30 minutes. And then we have the label. Uh, this is mainly for organizational purposes and for the admin to use to easily embed um, booking calendars to different pages. Uh, right now it's set to default. We can leave that as is. Next we have the weekly or monthly view. So this is going to determine how the availability is gonna be shown to the customer. I'm going to go ahead and change it to the monthly view. And lastly, we have the instructions field. So if you want to add in an extra little message that the user can see as they fill out the form, you can add that here. Some examples are I'll call you or we'll meet at your office. So once this all looks good, I can click continue. Next, we have our availability tab. This is where you're going to set a few different options for your availability, including how you would like to define your availability. For example, you could use available blocks um, or you can use specific start times. Um, if you're really picky about when your appointments start, I would recommend using the start times option. Otherwise, I'm just gonna go with available blocks. We have show appointment start times every, and you can choose the interval at which these bookings can take place. For example, you can go as low as 10 minutes or you can do 60 minutes. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna leave it at 60 minutes. I think that's fine. I want them to start at the top of the hour. And next we have our availability table. This is a neat little feature uh, that lets you click and draw or you can also drag and draw um, as well as drag and erase the availability that you want to select. So here I've set my availability from nine to 4 p.m. Um, but you can also use the plus signs on the left hand side to extend the hours up to 24 hours. And again, Simply Schedule Appointments does work based off of a weekly recurring basis. So this is going to be your availability every single week. So let's go ahead and go on to the scheduling options. So here in our scheduling options, it's going to give us a few more rules and settings that we can apply to the specific calendar. Uh, for example, you get to choose the type of time zone that gets shown to the user. For example, it can be localized. Um, this is best for uh, users who are booking on your calendar all across the country or the world. And if they have different times zones, we're going to automatically detect that and switch up their time zone to match it, it to their location. Whereas the locked is best if you're taking a lot of in-person meetings and all your clients are mostly going to be in that same time zone. So you can make sure that they're always seeing it in your time. In this case, my time zone is already set to America Chicago. So I'm going to set it to localized. And then the buffers, this is to give a little bit of space, a little bit of padding in between all your appointments. We have the notice required. This is going to help you prevent last minute bookings. By default, it's set to one day, uh, but 
you're always welcome to adjust this to whatever you need. We have a per day limit setting and this is going to limit how many bookings can be booked per day. For example, if you uh, just want to book two per day, you can set that here. So let's go ahead and continue. And lastly, we have our customer information. So uh, right now the plugin requires the name and email fields to properly operate, uh, but you can also add in the phone address, city, state, zip code, and additional notes. Um, if you notice here, we have a display checkbox as well as a require checkbox. If you just need to, you can display notes, but not necessarily require them. That's perfectly fine. If you want to add a custom field, those are available in all the premium editions of the plugin. So all the paid versions allow you to create new radio buttons, new checkboxes, a phone number field, etc. So for now we're using the free basic version and these are the ones that are included. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave this as is. I like that uh, information. So we're gonna click continue. And lastly, it's going to ask us to review all of the settings that we just created for our consultation, phone call, appointment type. So here you'll see a summary of our availability. You'll see a summary of the scheduling options we just set, the customer information fields that we selected, as well as the booking info. Uh, you can embed SSA in a variety of different ways, including short code. So you can just copy and paste this into a text box anywhere on your site. Uh, but since we are using Beaver Builder, this is a video for Beaver Builder, we're going to show you how to embed it using that particular page builder. So we can go ahead and skip this over. And if this all looks good, you can click continue. So now we have a congratulations page. It's going to ask you what you would like to do next. Um, in this case, I want to show you guys a quick overview of the plugin dashboard. So I'm going to take you to the settings really quick. Um, and actually I probably take you to the appointments tab just to walk you through the entire dashboard. So here in the appointments tab, this is where you're going to see an overview of all your bookings, including upcoming appointments, but you can also um, view past appointments or narrow it to a specific date range. You can search for bookings, you can filter them, and you can also book an appointment from here as well. Next, I'm gonna show you the appointment types. Just like uh, I said earlier, these are going to be a list of all your booking calendars. And here you'll see the one that we just created for consultation phone call, but you also have the option to create a new one. You can also create a clone of the one we just made. If you need to make multiple similar ones, you can edit it from here or you can delete it. You can also filter using the labels. Uh, right now we only have one label, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clear that. Next we have our settings tab. Uh, let me walk you through a few of the different options we have here. So we have general settings. This is where you can change some of the things that you set up during the setup wizard. For example, if you need to change the time zone, the date or time formats, a few other bits of information from your business, you can do so from here. Next, I wanna show you the styles. So here, is the default styles, but just keep in mind that we can override these. Once we embed it with Beaver Builder, we have the option to create custom styles for each um, individual in embed. Next, I'll show you the translations. We do include a few different language packs, including our most popular ones are German, Spanish, and French. So if you need to translate this, we do have a wonderful community of users who contribute to these translations and make these possible. Next, we have advanced scheduling options. This is going to um, give you a, a few different settings that you can toggle on. For example, you can enable advanced scheduling options, which is going to give you a few more options when you edit an appointment type um, that we won't cover in this particular video, but you're also welcome to just review the documentation that Simply Schedule Appointments has to get more information on those. We also have the independent availability option. By default, Simply Schedule Appointments assumes that there is one person managing all the appointments and all the calendars, but if you want to make each calendar or appointment type independent of each other, you can toggle this on that way. So if somebody books a 9 a.m. appointment, it doesn't block out all the rest of your calendars. You're able to book that same time slot across multiple calendars and that should be fine. So that's what this setting does. Next, I'm going to give you a quick peek at the notifications. By default, the plugin does come with these four email notifications, two for the admin and then two for the customer. Um, one set when an appointment is canceled and another set when the appointment is booked. So I won't cover this right here, uh, but at the end of the video, I'll come back to this and show you uh, what the customer sees, what the admin sees when an appointment is booked. And lastly, we have the blackout dates option and the calendar events option. So these are two free features um, and this blackout dates one allows you to block off all the time slots on your calendars in one go. For example, if you need to head out on vacation for a week, you can come in here and manually black that out. Next, we have the calendar event. Um, once we book an appointment, you'll see, and I'll help point out where this comes into play, but on the confirmation screen, after every booking is made with the plugin, um, the user has the option to add this event to their Google Calendar or to Apple Calendar, etc. cetera. Um, and you can customize the event title, event location, event details for that specific event that they download. So we'll come back to this and I'll show you where that comes into play. And 
And I believe that's it. The plugin does come with a few more features. For example, Google Calendar Sync, MailChimp integration, Zoom integration. There's webhooks if you want to use this with Zapier or with Make. Payments that include Stripe and PayPal. Payment gateways. We also have tracking if you use Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. And we also have a team feature if you need to manage multiple people's availability with the plugin. And I won't cover these here. Uh, I do want to just make this a free plugin overview video so you can see what's possible with just the free plugin. It's awesome. So let's move on. Next thing I want to do is go back to my Beaver Builder page and add it in my booking calendar. So heading back to that page where I highlighted the empty space, I'm going to begin editing with Beaver Builder. So now I have my page builder editor pulled up. What I want to do next is add in a widget and Simply Schedule Appointments provides a specific booking widget as well as an upcoming appointments widget. Um, custom made for Beaver Builder. I won't be using the upcoming appointments widget today. This is actually only for logged in users. So if you have some membership site, you can embed this onto a user's page or profile and they can see a list of all their upcoming appointments with your business. But for now, I'm just gonna use this booking one. So I'm just gonna drag it into place like so. And you'll see that we have a few different options here. Under the options tab, we have the option to ch select a specific appointment type that we want to display. In this case, we only have one, but if we were to leave this as all and have multiple appointment types, then it would show our calendars in a list view as opposed to this monthly view. Um, but in this case, I only have one appointment type. So I'm just gonna select the one that I created so far, consultation phone call. And then next thing I want to show you is this styles panel. Uh, so as mentioned earlier, we had set a default style and I believe it's set to green currently, um, but you can always come into Beaver Builders widget and manually override these. So for example, I want to match this with my website. So if I select the color picker, I have the option to either um, manually select a new color using their color editor, um, or I can use a color preset and use some of the colors that I've already been using all across my website. So in this case, I'm going to choose this cobalt blue. And as you'll see, it'll automatically update it to start matching the website. So I can only see this little pencil change right now, but I will uh, show you what the blue looks like here in a second once I publish it. Uh, you also have the option to change the background color. In this case, I want to keep it white. I think that looks fine. Um, you can change the font family and then you can set the padding for this. So if you need to add a little bit more space between this and the container and all the container elements, you can do so from here. So I'm happy with how this looks. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And once I save the widget, I can go ahead and tell my Beaver Builder page that I'm done editing and I can go ahead and publish. So now that I have that published, um, I'm going to show you the highlight accent color. So as you can see here, once I hover over my date slots, you'll see that it's using that new blue color that I have all over my site. Um, the time slots all use a blue and the booking form also includes the blue color. Now that you see how the booking form looks like on my page, let's book an appointment. All right, so now this is our confirmation screen. And if you remember a little earlier in the video, I mentioned the calendar events. Uh, so here where it says save to calendar, the user has the option to save a Google calendar event or another one. So this is great for um, Outlook or for Apple calendar. If a user selects this, they will instantly download uh, event and they have the option to save this to their personal calendars to remember. Um, of course, we do have a Google Calendar sync integration. So um, if you have that toggled on, we can automatically sync it to the admin and send an invite to the customer. All right. So another thing to note from here, this confirmation screen is that if they find that they entered something incorrectly, they can use edit information. If they find that they this time is not going to work for them after all, they can reschedule or they can cancel the appointment right away. Um, if I click schedule a new appointment, it'll take me back to that initial screen screen. Alrighty, so now that we've booked an appointment, let's go ahead and go back to Simply Schedule Appointments and I'm going to show you how to manage them. Going back to our appointments dashboard, uh, you'll see that here under our appointments tab, we have this new booking. So if we click on that and click view appointment details, we'll have an overview of everything that the customer input during the booking form. Uh, we can see the, the appointment type they used to book with and the time. Um, we also have a few more details. 
for example, the page that they booked from, in case you have this um, embedded on multiple pages, you can reference this here. Um, and then we have um, a bit more information, for example, who booked it. If you have users logging in, um, this will track which user account booked this particular appointment. And then you have a reschedule cancel link that you can reference as an admin as well. And lastly, I think I'm going to show you the notifications just so you can see what those look like. So heading over to the settings tab to the notification settings, uh, starting with the admin, this is going to be the notification editor. Just to give you a quick overview, you can uh, name it for organizational purposes. You can select the type um, SMS. Notifications are available in the pro and business edition. Uh, so right now we only have the option to select email. You can choose who to send this appointment to. Right now it's for the admin email, but using this little email icon, you can add more. For example, if you're using team members, but you can also manually type in an email address. And once you're done, you just click enter and this person or this email address will receive notification as well. Uh, you can CC, BCC. You can also choose the trigger. For now, we want to keep it appointment booked. And then you can also tie different notifications to different appointment types. So you can have custom messages go out to custom or to specific appointment types. So I'm just gonna select all. Since I only have one, um, another thing to note is that you can customize the subject, you can customize the message. Uh, if you look closely that we're using Twig templates to pull information from the appointment. So wherever it says, uh, wherever you see these two double curly brackets, that means that we're pulling specific information here. We're doing the customer information name, um, the home URL, the start date, and you can add more and you can see the different options we have using this um, little T option uh, and you can see the different ways you can customize the message and subject using in appointment information. And lastly, what I wanted to show you was this live preview. So here you can select this, uh, an appointment. And in this case, I'm just going to select the, the only one available, which is the one I just booked. And this is what the email message will look like for the admin. Going to the customer notification, we can do a quick review on that one too. And this is what the user would see. Um, you can also address them and customize this to however you'd like. Um, here we have the time of the appointment, the type, the uh, appointment type that they booked with their information. And lastly, they have the link to edit this booking. So again, same thing. You can edit information, reschedule, or cancel the appointment. So with all that said, I hope this was helpful. Simply Schedule Appointments lets you create an unlimited number of appointment types and book an unlimited number of appointments appointments as well. And this all fits really nicely into WordPress websites. Um, really great for scheduling meetings. And if you have any questions whatsoever, you can always contact the support team and they're always happy to help.